and welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name is John White, and this is the, the stupendous... Stupendous, I like it, John. Uh, John Murphy. And we're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines, that you will absolutely love. And on this occasion, this episode is about Primitivo uh, wine, which is a wine from Italy uh, made from the Zinfantel grape. So um, this is a second one in our series. I'll do a link to the other one we've done so far, and there will be a, a third coming up, and maybe some more after that. So should we have a look at the colour of this one? Let's do it, John. Oh, I, I better just let the guys see the label, because oh. they need to know what this one is. Forgot about that. Oh, yes, so did I. Just, 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 there you go. Okay, right. come on. Right. Hmm. Well, I can already see that's kind of a richer, deeper yeah. colour. Yeah, it is. Mm. Very dark, isn't it? It is, yeah. This is, you not, do not see through almost, that. There's nearly stopping all the light getting through it, isn't it? So, yeah. A lot of body there. Yeah, yeah well, that's, yeah, that's, that's the look of it. Let's have a go on the old nose. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, I... I I'm, I'm going to say I expected more from the nose from the colour, um, yeah. but still there's, there's plenty there, but I'm, I'm having to... What is it? Is, is it like herbaceousness or...? Yeah, yeah, de yeah, definitely, the herbaceous... It's got that... Sound bad, but there's, there's something else in there. I'd probably say an underlying... A plumminess. Yeah, there's a, I, was, yeah a plum. I was just, just getting there, yeah, mm. yeah. Yes. Na yeah. Na nice. It takes some. It takes some pulling out. Yeah. <laughs> Just give a moment. Let's try not to go down <laughs> Should we taste then? Yeah, let's have a taste. Very quickly, let's have a taste. Should have known better. I should have known better. I haven't need a second before I have a taste. <laughs> right. Mm. 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 That is very classy. Very, very classy. Oh, it is. Mm. That is Very lovely. Classy. That is lovely. That's really um, rich, almost a velvety feel as well on, on, on the mouth, but tannins there nicely. That's a proper mouth filling. I, I, I think you've said it best there, John. That's a classy red wine. It is, yeah. Classy red wine. Yeah, it's well balanced, the, the, the taste. I mean, you don't have, when you, as soon as you take your first sip, you don't have to go hunting for the taste. It comes no. at you. Here I am. Yeah, which is quite, you know, from the colour, that's what I expected. From the nose that I got there, I thought, mm, maybe not. But then the, on the mouthfeel there, that just, that reaffirmed that this is actually really, really good. Mm. And what I really like is the, that plumminess that we're getting through the, through the nose has, for me, definitely come through on, onto the palate. And that's always, for me, always a sign of a good wine. Yeah. And it's, you can, it's a full power, so, you know, it's going to... You know, we'll get through later, but it's it's it's, it's going to hold on in there. It could do battle with a lot of things, this, couldn't it? Mm. Yeah, definitely. See, you know, I say when we get to the matchings, I think we're going <coughs> to... It's going to take some... Oh, it's almost like... There's, there's something else there as well. Not like, when I'm talking to you there, and we always get, you know, when we have a yeah. taste, you get those initial flavours. Then when you're talking, there's a bit of air moving around. Something else kind of creeps on in it. It's trying to find what that is. But it's, in, it's intriguing. It's intriguing. Mm. So, like... Um, got a little bit of sort of like a, a dried fruit taste in it. Yeah, right. I'll give you that. I don't know, raisins or something like that. Yeah, it, 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 I, I don't know how to describe Not that. Full but on, is it just on the edge? Yeah, I think that's like almost a. It's almost like, it's not sweet because it, it's not sweet. We're, we're trying it in the tannins are sweet in there. But I know what you mean. There's something there. Mm, just on the edge there, yeah. And I think it's really well balanced. You mentioned the tannins. I mean, the tannins come right at the end. And the other thing I'm noticing is I'm not, I'm not tempted as, as I am very often to go straight back. Oh, I'm not getting that taste. I'm, go I'm actually content to just stay. It's got a very good length and it's just, you know, the, the, just let that sit. Yeah, and just let it develop. Yeah. And, just listen, and just appreciate it. Because you're right, it has got a really good length there, hasn't it? Yeah. So you, you're not rushing to, 
find that flavour. What is that? It's, it's, it's coming through very naturally, very easy. Like you've, I'll repeat it again, but it's a classic bit of wine. Is that on? I think that's a, yeah. Yeah, that that that, that is how a Primitivo should be. Uh, it, at the moment, I think it's a normal retail at twelve pounds, uh, but I, I managed to procure it for nine pounds. Of course you did. Of course, which you know is nine, a twenty-five yeah. percent discount. But no, no, you are completely correct, and that's worth every penny of a yeah, nine pound even, one. Even at, I have to say, although you know, obviously it hurts me to do it, but even at twelve pounds, that that is, you know, that's still I'd still great. pay that. Yeah, yeah, I'd still, still pay that. Very good, still very good. You know, if someone had told me that's fifteen, eighteen pounds, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have sort of said, oh, don't, don't be talking, don't be, don't be silly. Yeah, yeah, because we have yeah. had something, something like that, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. Money doesn't always buy you the best. Mm. -mm. Yeah, this is okay. a little bit of an experience, isn't it? It's, it's really great, yeah. It is just nice to, you know, it's, I'm sorry if we're not talking enough on camera, because actually we're just enjoying that, the moment with the wine. It is very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. I think it speaks volumes. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at her kind of pairing. <coughs> okay. Uh, do you want me to go first? Oh, you can do it, John. Okay, so I, I was thinking of game uh, with this, so yeah. I'm thinking of some, something like some duck um, uh, and or, or maybe pheasant. Um, and obviously it depends what sauce you've got with it, but I think that that would hold on to. And again, yeah, any red meat, I think this would, you know, I think you could even try a, a steak with this. I think yeah. it, it's powerful enough to cope with that. So. Yeah. Okay, so which leads me then towards um, the cheese. Ooh. Yeah, so you're gonna, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go and say manchego. Just, just an ordinary manchego. An ordinary... Is, that, is that Italian? Manchego, Italian, Spanish, Italian. Oh my God, I've had a glass of wine now. Is it Spanish? Is it Spanish? Don't I don't know. sure. Yeah, I think my check is Spanish. Okay. Um, or is it Italian? That's bad, isn't it? As a cheesemonger, I should, should have had that second glass of wine. Uh, but no, it, that, but that's a used milk, and it? it tends to be quite a powerful flavoured used milk. And you don't even have to go like to the really big aged one, something like a six month old will do that fine. I think that'd fight against that and do that justice. Yeah, mm. and you'd say that actually, just mention on the Italian, I suddenly thought, Obviously, from Italy, I bet sort of like rich pasta dishes would go yeah. fantastic with this. Mm. Really, yeah, I can just imagine that. Mm. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Well, you know, I guess that moves us on to the score. The score, would you like me to go first? Yes, I would. Okay, so I am going to, because this is a, a decent price, it's a Primitivo, it tastes like a Primitivo, just did everything I wanted it to do, so I'm, I'm not gonna go wild, wild, but I'll, I'm gonna, so it deserves 83. Okay. Well, I, I thought, oh, he's going to go beyond me when you were building it up like that. But actually, I've gone 86. Oh, man, that's a really good... Well, I, I think I have to say that I like Zinfandel as one of my favourite grapes. So maybe that's that sort of, you know, influence. It's a wine I really, really enjoy. Um, and I just think that just it is a wine that you could just sit with. Um, I once heard a, a, this sort of wine described as uh, a in front of the fire wine. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you could go with that. I think... Um... <clears throat> Yeah, because the weightiness is there, isn't it? And, and be, like you said, you can just enjoy one glass and those flavours all together mixed with that uh, yeah. warm Tasting fire. Tasting it, staring into the, mm. the flames, licking around the logs. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Oh. Excellent. Well, I mean, that's one I think that we'd recommend, I think, unreservedly. It's, uh, yeah. you know, especially if you can get it for £9 rather than £12. Yeah. Result. Um, the thing is that once you buy something for that sort of price, nine pounds, and then you have to go back to paying 12 pounds, it always hurts that much more. But um, <laughs> nevertheless. I know it hurts you, John, I know it does. If you haven't tried uh, Primitivo, uh, but you, you, know, you like Zinfandel, well, definitely give it a go. It obviously you know, it has a different earth and, and has a different character to Zinfandel, but there are some similar characteristics and, mm. and it's well worth giving it a go. Certainly this one, we would recommend you give a go. Oh yes, definitely, definitely, good one. Okay, so until the next one, we look forward to seeing you there. If you haven't already, uh, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, helps other people find us. And so until the next one, we look forward to seeing you there. Chin chin. Chin chin.